The, what happened to my toque? Hold on. <laughs> Wait. It, it looks like... <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I whip my toque back and forth. Okay, stop it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fix it! Okay, so we're headed out for, for, for Christmas stuff. Wow. So yeah, so the tail end of this conversation, and she just said that the store's not busy, but we have to do this to be safe. They've got a line to get in because I'm sure their occupancy is only so many. We wanted to go to the bookstore, but um, uh, I think that uh, maybe a weekday, maybe Monday would probably be the, yeah. during the afternoon might be the better time to do You're that. Not working. Wow, okay. Well, that was easy. Phew, done. <laughs> Next. Well, yeah, done and not done. Checking stuff off. I almost said the bad word. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. We're they really back. They should be doing what Barnes and Noble does and make sure we wait outside. It's like well, a they COVID don't, fest in there. A COVID fest. They we're at the post office. They don't have enough uh, personnel to uh, tell you to. Yeah, they don't have personnel to do anything in there. <laughs> no, they really don't. Okay, so we're dropping off things at the post office. I'm going in. Okay. You're not bringing the rest of me. Oh, I will. I just, I, my hands are only so big. Oh. I got big hands, but they're still only so big. You can definitely hold more than that. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're talking about now. We pulled into the parking lot. Oh, watch out for this car. Whoa. Whoa. Pull into the parking lot, and Angie points over there. It's like, what the heck is that? I don't know. It's a doe. No, it's not a doe. It's a male deer. It's a buck. It's a male deer. <laughs> Look at it, it's over there. It's a postal deer. In their humongous Christmas tree lot. Oh look, they have regular trees. Jesus, he's swirling. We could get a tree and plant it. That's usually what nursery areas have, is trees that you can plant. Thanks, Tips. <laughs> I'll be here all day. <laughs> Whoa. That's what we were talking about. It's only furry on one side. It's only furry? Oh, it is. It's got a half a furry butt. <laughs> oh my gosh. You never knew that there's a uh, photo op at a Home Depot, did ya? <laughs> That's a real Charlie Brown tree because that looks like you would actually shake it and all the pine needles would go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, that is neat. It's a winter wonderland. That's what it says, let it snow. I made a comment to Angie that all their Christmas stuff was going away. And then we see this, it's like, oh my gosh, stocking up for the apocalypse. <laughs> so if you guys want seeds, get them now. Because everything is in stock. This is beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. So we're gonna try some new things this year. And a lot of the stuff that we did this year was, um, I don't, I don't want to say trial and error, but we learned a lot. <laughs> we learned a lot this year on what to do, what not to do. We've been here three times? Three times. Well, okay, so we have some uh, baking stuff time. that we need to go out and get. And Andy just said that we've been here at Walmart three times. So we question. Twice. This is the third time. Three and times. We, we don't like Walmart. Well, we, you, we very rarely come to Walmart. But the question is, if you're at Walmart, aren't you a person of Walmart? Yep. Yep, that's terrible. Put your huh. mask on, let's go get this. Okay, let's done. get this stuff. This let's let's get. This is like going to war right now. <laughs> so this is the scene that others are going to see. Uh, we are attending a Zoom meeting with a bunch of our haunter friends that we haven't seen in like a long time. And uh, so that's what we're doing this evening, at least for right now. Apparently Buffy wants to get in on the action. I don't want to be left alone. Leave me out of everything. I just want to breathe on you. <laughs> Obviously, everybody wanted to be filmed and put on the internet, so we're gonna respect people's privacy and stuff like that. And we're just gonna do this, but this this is us, and 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 this is what it looks like. And we're gonna try to uh, to cast it on there so we can see better. I don't know. Anyway, that's what we're doing. Are you ready for this? Huh? No, more scrubs. More scrubs, thank you.
get dizzy doing that. Okay, um, it's time for CSC, but before we do that, we have two cards to open real quick. Ooh, I like this one, look at that. It's got black. And look at that. It's got birdies on it. This is from Maria Ricca. More birdies. More birdies. May the peace and beauty of the season be yours throughout the year. From Maria Ricca and family to Troy and Angie in Phoenix and Buffy and Coda. And there's a note. Take four. <laughs> May this holiday season be filled with joyous memories and plenty of laughter to be shared with family and friends. I'd like to thank you for welcoming, welcoming me wow, into... I screwed it again. That. I can't say that word. I just did, but I had to say okay, it twice in order to say like it. Take five, no, so. we're not. Uh, me into your world of logs that you share each and every day, making me feel like a part of the family. It brings me joy to see the love and passion Troy and Angie has for one another. The caring and laughter you both share each other each day makes me feel the warmth inside and the way you both play with phoenix is so sweet and compassionate mm -hmm. i feel blessed you are so amazing thank you very very much <sighs> makes me blush are you getting the vipers got the vipers <laughs> <laughs> yes the cheese is rubbing off i love it <laughs> joshua J. Oh, he's got a thing on the back of the card, too. Look at that. Look at that. Have a Merry Christmas. That's a snowman. Could be a snowwoman, but I'm pretty sure it's a snowman. Could be a snowwoman. Right. Dear Troy, Angie Phoenix, Coda Buffy, and Chicks and Mantises. Aw. <laughs> uh, wishing you the happiness that only Christmas brings. A smile-filled time of year that's filled with all your favorite things. Your friend, uh, Josh Johnson. A Josh Johnson, oh my gosh, a.k.a. DJ Silent J06. I need some water. I think so. Okay. Where is your water? Thank you very much. Um, oh, it's in, it's the, in the kitchen. kitchen. I want to try and make it through COC without okay. it. All right. Okay, so this is from three nights ago, okay. and I'm not going to arrange them. Usually I do it from, like, the latest comment to the newest comment. I'm not going to do that because when I scroll on the phone, it screws up the order, and that screws up everything. So I'm just going to leave them the way they are in case I do screw up the phone. It'll go back right. to the order okay. that it was. All right. <sighs> okay. Scott Falds. Good day, Troy. Well, good day to you. And I believe that you're new. So welcome. I believe so. And she's so awesome. She corrects me all the time. Well, welcome anyway. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Brote. So I'm late. What? Family time is more important. Have not seen my daughter in weeks and she paid a visit and she will be here for Christmas. It's That's going awesome. to be a good Christmas after all. Aww. And I'm going to bring some personal stuff into it. I saw a post that you talked about your daughter, and I, I saw this uh, young lady in like uh, like scrubs, like hospital scrubs, and you talked about how she was great and everything, and I'm like, oh no, what happened? Thinking that you were giving a shout out to somebody that helped you if you had been at the doctor. That's where my mind went with that. And then you said that, um, you know, she's there risking her life to help others and everything and it's your daughter and i'm like oh my gosh dude that's very commendable so that that's awesome Proud papa yeah and rightly so real fan jason i think there was one time a year or two ago that you had phoenix doing a coc with you i wouldn't even know where to start looking but i swear i remember one with uh with him it was back in the office room too now i'm going to brag a little with people talking about when they quit smoking i quit before i ever started Grandpa died of lung cancer because he smoked. Happened when I was a kid, but I'm pretty sure that's what scared me off from ever doing it. Smart man. Yeah. If you can learn from somebody else's mistakes, very, very intelligent. <laughs> Halloween fur, I thought this was so cool having Phoenix and commenting on comments with you and Angie. I love his reaction. He should be in more of COC. Mm -hmm. This is from the vlog the night before last night. We're catching up. <clears throat> Carrie Ann Olson. Oh, yes, please. Garadaldi chocolate. Garadoli chocolate. It's good stuff. It's real chocolate. It's not like the waxy chocolate. She makes fun of me because, I, I mean, I'll chocolate. eat anything chocolate, even if it's the waxy stuff. But it's wax. It's not chocolate. Yeah, it's waxy chocolate. <laughs> Scott Folds. Don't like Christmas fruitcake. You said no, Angie. I am with you. Angie, Troy doesn't need it. Yuck. <laughs> Jason Flesher. Well, Troy, you should be made an honorary Brit because that is all we do is talk about the weather. <laughs> Where I live, we are under flood warnings, so we are keeping an eye on the weather. Well, wow. that's understandable. Isn't Oregon under flood warning right now, too? Yeah, I think I think so. I'm getting scrubs. I love it. Look at me. <laughs> Wait, you stopped. Why did you stop? More scrubs, please. 
Yep, just like that. Thank you. Wolfsbane Hollow. I've been kicked. I've been kicked out of Walmart before. My self and my grown son were riding around in the store <laughs> on those bouncy ball things. Oh, that's, that's too funny. That's so funny. And I eat fruitcake in small amounts, unless it's some I've made myself, which ends up being a cross between fruitcake and panettone. Mmm. Yummy. Tony Fisk, just for Angie. Hashtag go Seahawks. <laughs> she really doesn't care. <laughs> uh, but thanks anyway. Uh, Joe Poppenhagen, like I said before, fruitcake makes for a good doorstop. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. You know something? Okay. I want to do a video. I started to do a video like maybe five years ago about what fruit cakes were good for, and one of them was like a paperweight, and I just let slam down. And I'm sure somebody else has done this, but I only have one fruit cake, and it's not a big one; it's a very tiny one. It would not make a point, but if somebody wants to send me a fruit cake, in fact, I will use. You would not have that fruit cake that we've got right now long enough to do a video with. No, I won't. You scarfed the other one down. <laughs> oh, I did. It was gone in a day, but it was a small fruitcake and I didn't eat it all in one sitting. It was three equal meals. So anyway, if somebody wanted to send me a fruitcake, I'm going to do a video about all the things that you guys suggest that fruitcake is good for, like a paperweight, a doorstop. Give me a list of what fruitcake is good for. Somebody send me a fruitcake and I will, I will make a video about it. Oh, I'm, I'm dead set on this. I want to do it. Van Nile NSX. That's what she said at 4 minutes and 19 seconds when I was talking about the big bone. And real fan Jason. Fruitcake, only person I ever knew who liked it was my late grandma. Got to side with Angie on this one. Thank you. There is nothing wrong with a good fruitcake. And you're like, there's everything wrong with fruitcake. And this is the vlog. Oh, we got a thumbs down. Okay, if you're going to thumbs down the vlog, don't be a coward. Post it down below and tell us why can't change anything if you know okay whatever oh and we touch on this in these comments too so here we go i just did like my mom did um i love you mom i'm not okay anyway emerald gypsy heart did you guys get our card two vlogs ago we opened the card two or three or something no it was two ago two? because it was the one after the long one remember we did coc and it was like a half hour long oh right and i said we weren't going to open them up but we opened up stuff the next day it's on the wall yeah it's on the wall it's over here tony Fredrickson, i have a nose wipe story okay i've already read this story okay. so i want to see your reaction okay. when i read this right. because i will oh. years ago i worked in a pepperoni factory okay mm-hmm it was a very cold assembly line in the cold your nose runs yes we had to wipe our nose on our shoulder because if you touched your nose to your hand or anything that touched the food on the line, the line would shut down and you would get in trouble. So one day I was in the grocery store. Without thinking, with people around, I just reached down and wiped my nose on my sleeve like the like a dumbass. I was mortified. What did they think? Now when you originally started telling this story, I'm like, oh my gosh, like somebody's so nose went in the pepperoni, like drops. It was oh, cold that's in really there. Funny. Is that what you were thinking? <laughs> I was thinking that it would have been something along those yeah oh along those lines get it pepperoni line pepper mm -hmm. i can't even speak pepperoni line okay i'll enunciate scott fields angie you are crazy but love it what did i do i don't know oh thanks <laughs> <laughs> thanks i think john john 911 but his finger looking good oh, no God. it's a little salty scott fields again what work do you do i work for myself i am a mobile automotive technician uh j dubs i have a different question oh oh no i've i've recognized your comment before right can I do this and find out? Yes, he's commented before. Nine comments, and as a matter of fact, you have left. Thank you. Um, I do have a different question. What does the thumbs up do to help your channel? And there's no punctuation there. It says, help your channel stay safe. And I'm like, well, it doesn't do anything to help us stay safe. But no, um, it helps with um, uh, interactions. So anytime you guys share, thumbs up, comment, um, do any kind of the interactions. It helps uh, YouTube's algorithms to hopefully maybe get our videos out there so maybe more people will watch them. And maybe one day, probably towards the end of when I'm thinking about stopping the vlogs, maybe we'll start to make a living. <laughs> You're like, I don't know if that's <laughs> on that. Uh, BJ, second, by only four seconds, stay safe out there and be calm. Hope you're all having a great weekend, Hellions. Poor Nancy, the escape artist. Oh, those chickens. Yeah, we still have to fix that fence back there. Joe Poppenhagen, when I was a kid, one winter day in Minnesota, I had some friends over to play. When they were ready to leave, my mom helped them get their winter clothes on. She asked, whose gloves are these? 
One friend said, mine are the ones with snot on them. <laughs> Carrie Ann Olson, my stomach hasn't calmed down. I'm going to call them on Monday, a.k.a. the doctor, I believe. Um, I'm glad that you like it. I thought about doing something with glitter, but I had the vintage look in mind, so I decided against it. I tried making it look like a home that had been lived in for many years. You did a good job. Yep, you did. That was awesome. Noise background, Buffy drinking water. Ralph and Jason, your box knife gag made me wince. Yesterday at work, I was breaking down boxes with a box knife. It slipped out of the cardboard during a cut and got me. It can happen so fast. It does. Those are and, not funny oh, jokes. And, and not even the knife, just cardboard itself. If you take your hand and try to slice open a, or like get the tape on a box, I slice like the backside of my knuckles have open ever, all the time. Have you ever got a paper cut from a piece of tinfoil? Yes. Oh, it's the worst. It is. <laughs> it's a clean cut and they, uh, they take longer to heal. Hi, thank you for putting your watery mouth all over my blanket. Oh, you're welcome. Um, sliced open the left side of my left thumb with a good quarter inch deep cut above oh, or about a God. half inch long. Blade was brand new, so it was fast oh. and clean. After a few colorful words and about a half hour's worth of pressure, I was able to get it to stop bleeding long enough for me to super glue it shut and bandage it off. Never really hurt, still doesn't unless it wow. gets bumped. Don't recommend it, folks. Wow. And, and, whenever you get hurt. Oh, thanks. Whenever you get hurt? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, never mind. <laughs> she was like looking really like, oh, I love you. Like that? Yeah, like that. Um, whenever you get hurt, you will continue to get hit and hurt that part of your body over and over and over again like you you have a stubbed toe that you Ugh. stubbed and then you just keep stubbing I the same toe keep stubbing it like i've stubbed it so much that when i stub it now hey, it down. hurts so bad i can't breathe <laughs> oh that sucks <laughs> oh and oh uh halloween fur well you were right troy this is or that is my handwriting i don't mm -hmm. know i just never put my name anywhere on the outside of the card and i always liked it on the inside well i guess i need to go Fridge shopping. Today my fridge went out. Oh, no. Where'd it go? Oh, dad jokes. <laughs> dad jokes or bad jokes? Bad dad jokes. Bad dad jokes? Uh, ben Massey, uh, thanks for opening all the cards and gifts. So cool. You're very welcome and so happy to help. Can't believe that card got damaged. Sorry. Well, it's not your fault. It's the mail fault. But at least it got here, so that's an important thing. And the card didn't get yeah, damaged. Yeah, the card's not damaged. No, it's fine. Just the envelope. But we thank you so very much for all that stuff. That was so awesome. And... And he loves now it so water. much that he's saving it. I am. I'm saving it for next year because I want one. of that particular card. Yeah. And he loves them both so much. He's using one this year and he keeps hitting the button. And I he's do. Gonna save the other one for there's, next year. There's, there's the two Charlie Brown cards. Yes. There's the other one yeah. too. And I do them both at the same time, which <laughs> uh, I love them. They're so awesome. I love the lights too. Final comment of the night. Fran Royer, you guys have a great weekend. Sending lots of love your way. You too, Fran. Yeah. And to all of you guys. <sighs> Anything you want to add? I'm thirsty. You're thirsty. I'm thirsty. All right. She's not thirsty. She's not thirsty. She just drank. She did. And then she got half the water on your leg. Yep. Happy awning, guys. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Can I get all scrub? Yeah, right there. Oh.